And what we hope we can do is to amend the law so that there will be a guarantee that people will have access to funds so they can run if they have enough support to merit it. And then to put a limit on how much any one individual can give so nobody can purchase through wealth an undue share in the decision-making process. To start the uh, testimony for the evening, I call Senator Biden of Delaware. Here we go. <laughs> Senator Biden, welcome to the Advocates. Thank you for being here. Senator Biden, it's nice to have you here as the youngest member of the Senate, the one, therefore, who may expect the longest career there. I wonder if you'd say to us, since it's clear that you're not corrupt and you got elected. I highly doubt that. Since it's clear that you're not corrupt and you got elected. Why should people think that the system produces corrupt results when there you are? Well, I'm not sure you should assume I'm not corrupt, but I thank you for that, though. The system does produce corruption, and in, in, I think implicit in the system is corruption, when in fact, whether or not you can run for public office, and it costs a great deal of money to run for the United States Senate, even for a small state like Delaware, uh, you have to go to those people who have money, and they always want something. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Well, I'm not sure you should assume I'm not corrupt, but I thank you for that, though. You're a chump. You're a chump.